Luke 17, verses 20 to 21. And when he was demanded of the Pharisees, when the kingdom of God should come, he answered them and said, The kingdom of God cometh with, not with observation, neither shall they say, Lo here or lo there, for the kingdom of God is within you. Hallelujah. Saints of God, welcome to another kingdom conversation. I'm so blessed to have this opportunity to come and speak about faith and life to each and every one of you. And I certainly pray that you're blessed and prosperous wherever you are listening to this message. Today I'd like to talk about some of the current events and how they relate to scripture, how they relate to what uh, some people commonly refer to as the end times, and how should we respond? How should we live in light of these current events and speculative events that are yet to come? So let's talk about that today in today's kingdom conversation. As many of you may be aware, uh, there have been a lot of drastic weather events happening around different parts of the world. From America in the state of Texas, flooding in southern Brazil, flooding and people displaced, as well as in Kenya and Tanzania, and perhaps some other places that I'm not aware of either. And it is can be quite disturbing and a wake-up call for many of us who sometimes take things for granted that every one, every day will be a day of fortune for us, a day of blessing, a day of favor in our lives. And there are so many other situations that people are facing in life that are tragic. Just recently here, just to give you an example, a recent event here in, a, in America, uh, a father and three children were found dead in a vehicle and the police speculate that it was a murder-suicide that the father murdered the three children and killed himself. Another incident of a 15-year-old young lady is speculated to have overdosed at school and died of cardiac arrest. So our world is in, always in a constant state of turmoil. We know about the wars in Ukraine and Gaza with Israel and Hamas. And if we were not in tune to the Spirit of God, these things would be somewhat overwhelming to us. But I want to encourage you that in spite of these tragic situations that are happening and we're praying for the families that are affected by all of these tragedies and, and calamities, that are taking place around the world, the ones that I mentioned, as well as many others, I'm sure, that I'm not even aware of. And we want to pray specifically for believers, but we want to also pray for our world at large, that we all would keep or develop a mindset of covering each other in prayer daily, asking God to protect us, shield us, and that God would also bless and help those who have been affected by these situations to recover. Praying for those who are grieving the loss of loved ones. Many lives have been lost in these tragedies. And so we want to pray for those individuals that God would comfort them, aid them, make provisions available for them, uh, that they can, lives can be made whole and complete and at the same time we're praying for ourselves as well as those in our circle of influence that god place a hedge of protection over and around us that we live fruitful and productive lives that we have a passion to impact lives whether they're facing crisis tragedy or seem to be living in a good way we need we want to be able i pray to impact their lives spiritually physically, financially, emotionally, socially, 
for the kingdom of God. And I thank God for each and every one of you who are active in doing your part in your local communities, serving others' needs, whether that's food, clothing, shelter, whether just encouragement, or through preaching or teaching, sharing the good news, showing kindness and, and mercy to others. And I want to celebrate you for being yielded to the call of God. I want to salute and encourage each of you to continue to live your life with purpose, to continue to live that meaningful life that is that is only has meaning through Christ Jesus as we impact the lives of other people. May God impact your life, continue to pour back into you as you pour out to others. And I and that is my sincere, fervent prayer that I make petitions before the throne of God, even now on your behalf, children of God. In the face of all these calamities that are present and perhaps whatever calamities may come upon the earth going forward, let's build an ark of prayer. I think about Noah in the Old Testament when God made known to Noah that he was going to destroy the earth and he gave Noah a instructions to preserve the lives of a select few so that they would not be destroyed by the flood that would come upon the land. And often I refer to that account of Noah to warn people that Noah had to be made aware of the events in advance of them happening. It would have been, would not have been effective for Noah to wait until the rain started before he started to build the ark. He had to begin to build the ark when there was no rain. It wasn't even the sight of rain. But Noah obeyed God. He did what God commanded or instructed him to do. And through his obedience, eight lives were spared from the flood. And there were many people against Noah, they challenged him, they questioned him, they laughed at him, they mocked him. But Noah continued to do what God instructed or commanded that he do. I want you to know that no matter how people may question or doubt or scoff at that your efforts to preserve lives, present lives, future lives, whatever it is the Lord commands or instructs you to do, follow his instructions. Follow his leading, follow his guidance. That is my prayer for each and every one of you. And, and I know sometimes it can be challenging because uh, oftentimes at the same time we're facing personal uh, challenges in different areas of life. So I pray that the Lord continue to strengthen and provide and protect and renew you daily as you pour into others May God pour into you a double portion uh, of anointing into your life. Uh, right now, the scripture that's coming to my mind is from the book of Isaiah, the, the entire chapter 61. If you get a chance, read through that. But there were several references in Isaiah where the prophecy to Isaiah mentioned that the people would receive a double portion in their land that they will be the restorer of broken places. They will be called trees of righteousness. This is my declaration that I speak into the atmosphere over and around each and, one, each and every one of you, even now, especially those who have yielded and surrendered them, themselves spiritually and practically to the leading of the Holy Spirit by assisting others, helping others. Yes, we may have our own set of circumstances, situations and challenges, but I thank God that he gives you the spirit to continue to pour into others as a good Samaritan uh, to those who are hurting, who are facing crisis, who are in various situations and circumstances. So our heart and our prayers continue to pour out to these individuals that we see have been 
deeply impacted with the loss of lives, loss of possessions, living in the streets, no, no home to go back to, some people, no family to go back to. So we, we don't want to forget their suffering at the present time. The scripture says that when one weep, we weep with them. When one rejoice, we rejoice with them. He was referring to the believers amongst one another, but we also hurt when people hurt regardless of their uh, religious affiliation or not. No, we should not feel good to see people suffer or suffering through different types of calamities, uh, some natural calamities, some man-made calamities at the hand of one another. So we, as the body of Christ, we're the salt of the earth, we're the light of the world. So let's continue to be that great example, that great beacon of hope in this world darkness. Let us be a hope to someone who feel hopeless right now. Let us be comfort, let us speak comfort to those who are mourning right now. And, uh, and, and let us also rejoice in the, in the fact that we have a savior. We have a, 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 a God who cares about what we go through, what others are going through, and that he will continue to make every provision available for us as we pray and labor to assist those that we can. And again, I encourage you, thank you. I thank God for each and every one of you, for your friendship, fellowship, prayer, support. Uh, prayer is our weapon. Prayer is a weapon. War worship is also a weapon against the enemy. So let's continue to pray and worship our great and marvelous God as we pray for others. We pray for one another as well as praying a covering over ourselves. So now in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. God with us, may your power continue to be expressed through us into this world. May it be expressed in our personal lives, our spiritual lives, our financial lives, our, our physical life, God, cause us to be whole, complete in every area of life. Give us, continue to give us your joy, your peace, hallelujah, your favor, O oh God, as we extend ourselves to others as an instrument in your hand, O oh God, to be used, to be a healing, to be, to be salvation, to be deliverance for others. And we receive the healing, the salvation and deliverance that you bring into our lives. In the name of Jesus, we adore you, Father. We magnify you. We, we give you all the praise, even now, even in the midst of whatever destruction or calamities that are facing the earth that we may be facing in our personal life. We give you all the glory. We give you all the honor and we give you all the praise for we ascribe worth to you, O God, for you alone are worthy of all the praise, the honor and the glory. We plead the blood of Jesus and the fire of the Holy Spirit to cover us and surround us, protect us, to shield us. Thank you for your ministering angels that's going forward even now to do warfare, even in the heavens, O oh God, against our enemies, that we may be victorious, that we may be triumphant. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, may your kingdom come. May your will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Hallelujah. Amen. You've been listening to Kingdom Conversations with Bishop Lyndon Hutcherson of Amazing Grace Ministries. We were blessed that you tuned into today's message and look forward to connecting with you in person or on future podcasts. Feel free to reach out to us for more information about our ministries by visiting our website, Amazing Grace Ministries, at www.agministries.net.